Hello, Tamara here. Nice of you to join me and a very warm welcome to my channel. It's lovely to have you here with me today. Today we are talking waterfall features. And what do you say is a waterfall feature? Well, a waterfall feature is something like this. Let me show you. So, this is our waterfall feature. For those of you that don't know, and there are lots of people out there that um, watch my channel that are brand new to um, memory book making. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so this is a waterfall feature. Now you can have different types of waterfalls. Now you can have waterfalls that sit in place and don't move, or you can have ones that actually move, that interact with your um, album and that's what I've done with this one so we open it up and you think all right okay there's some flaps there mm, that's not too bad you can put like 12 photographs in there mm, yeah what's so good about that well it actually moves it's a moving waterfall now as you pull it down they flip up now I can remember seeing my first one of these done at a craft shop that sadly is no longer um, running um, here in the UK and there was a lady there um, that um, was showing how to make these. Now I'm using the Romantic collection from Stamperia, now this is the journal um, paper pad it's in the same family as the sea dreams it's got a, some of the elements that you'll find in the sea dreams in here as well um, so I thought it was a nice link um, because they the, the two albums are the same I just thought it would be a nice link to go something that would complement it um, so that's why I'm using this collection now I'm making up the using the paper because I need my paper to be down onto my album first before I stick my waterfall feature on so that's why I've picked this paper to use so don't forget to please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well because um, that way you will be notified every time I upload new content to my channel so you'll be one of the first people to that will uh, be in the know. Also um, all my links for all my socials are in the description box as well so if whichever you prefer click on one of those down there and it will take you there straight away. So what we need so for I'll give you the measurements for our waterfall first and then we'll go ahead and cut our paper. So for this type of closure um, which is the one I just showed you with the skinny closure over the top that you will need to cut a piece of card at 8 by 4 okay I'll go through all the score lines in a moment your anchor piece I'm going to, to say cut this at 7 and 1 8 by 1 and a quarter okay I've got Okay, you will also need six um, of four by six inch pieces of um, card. Next is our waterfall base, and you need to cut this at ten and a half by six. Okay, so that's the waterfalls. We'll do. Uh, we might as well do this as well so for this you need to cut your pattern paper at now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my hinge and my spine at the same time so that I've it looks like it's a continuous piece of paper so I'm going to cut it from this side but I'm going to go that way because I'm that's the uh, so we go there so that way so I need this at eight and one eighth okay first of all eight and one eighth turn it over and we're going to so we've turned it over so what we're going to do now is 
is we're going to turn this 180 degrees. So turn it to the opposite end and we're going to cut this part off and this is going to be cut at three eighths of an inch. Okay, Ooh, moved. Three eighths of an inch, like so. Put that there. Then the next one is going to be cut at three eighths of an inch as well. Come on. There we go, like so. And then we're going to turn, we're going to cut then down, and this is going to, you're going to cut this at eight and five eighths. So get rid of that there. Keeping these short pieces on your cutter, you'll need to cut these down to seven and seven eighths. Okay, so that's one. And then the next one. That's two. Okay, so move them out of the way. And then they are then going to go onto our spine and hinge. Just get I'm just gonna give these a quick once over. And that's two. So next we're just going to stick these in, so let's just get our glue, remember to, because I'm paper piecing, make sure you've got them up the right way, they're not back to front, inside out, upside down, like so, I think that goes sure that goes there yes it does it doesn't look like it but it does I promise I've got that upside down oh, I did this before because that's upside down it goes that way I had it upside down there's me sending you make sure you've got them the right way makes it easier when you've got a, um, a bit more of a pattern to um, paper piece I'm sort of paper piecing paper and textures. So put this one on. Like so. Now you will notice that this one is a little bit more skinnier than the the actual size of the hinge. Now that is because of the hinge here it does make it look a little bit wider but if you cut that any wider what happens is is this starts to bend and then it starts to come away and then it starts to lift and tear and it's a bit not very nice so um, I've just cut it that little bit shorter so it allows for that so just ink these edges like so make sure you've got that the right way I think half the battle is with these papers is picking which side you want to cover um, you want showing um, and then you think oh no I don't want to cover that up it's too nice I think that's um, always the way now you could put a bit of double sided tape on here as well just to um, help but um, as I'm just showing I'm Just going to leave it like that. There we go. So push that down. There we are. So that's our back on. So our next piece of business is bring in our waterfall base. We're going to score now this at half an inch, at one inch at one and a half at two at two and a half and at three 
So you should have six score lines on your uh, piece of paper, on your card. Now while we've got our trimmer out, we need to do our, our other scores. So, first of all, let me just chop this bit off. Okay, you don't need to do that, that's just uh, I did. So, on your score, I'm oh, sorry, on your closure, which is the 8 and 4, and the 8 by 4, you're going to score along one short edge at half an inch. Okay, so score that at half an inch, that becomes a glue tab. Bringing in your anchor piece, you're going to score this at both short ends at half an inch. Okay, one and two. And that concludes all our score lines. So, bringing back in your base, we need to fold them over. So I start at the bottom score line and I just fold them over onto each other. You don't need it in a concertina, um, they just fold exactly the same way. So what you should then be left with once you've folded them is like a roll, okay? It's like a roll top you'll be left with. So folding them over at the last score line here, I'm just going to burnish that one down. I'm going to burnish them all down actually, just to get them nice and creased and give, them, give us that sharp um, scored edge and one more and there we are so that gives us a nice sharp edge now taking your double sided tape okay now the double sided tape is going to go in the middle of those uh, rows. So each row you need to put one single line of score tape or glue if you're using glue. So one more. So your six by four pieces we're going to start from the bottom um, line here from your bottom score line and we're going to place them so I'm going to line them up with one edge now I line them up with one edge because then I know that the other edge is going to be pretty lined up okay so I'm going to line it up with that one edge and then burnish that down now what I've done is I, I've come just below that scored line. I don't know if you can see that when I bend it. You can see I've just come below that scored line. So you just need to carry on all the way up to the top with your little waterfall flaps. Just um, making sure that you've lined up that one edge and then, then we know that we're going to be straight. But if you find that you've um, gone over a little bit and you've got some um, hanging over here, we can always trim that down at a later date if it's too noticeable. But at the end of the day, it's a piece of card, so if you go wrong, just cut them out. Just cut it out again. Oh, I thought I'd missed one. Again, just line it up. There we go. And I've got two more after this because I've missed one. Like so. Last one in place. Like that. There we go. 
and then that is near enough your waterfall done so what we need to do is now get our, our waterfall in place so you need to open so open your waterfall up to the last page so you've got them all open at the top okay and then you need your anchor strip and with your anchor strip you need to put double sided tape now I'm going to put one in the center and then I'm going to put glue on the outside edges now that's so we've got a little bit of wiggle room so that we can start to wiggle this into place so let's just put the glue there we go okay so getting your so turn it uh, um, up like this and then turn it round so we're working on the bottom um, flap but we've turned it round the other way so that it's a uh, it's on the back side and we're going to place our anchor part so that the two edge edges this edge and this edge are level okay now with those scored lines try to get them so that they are equal either side of that flap okay with that extra with that glue it should be quite easy for it to um, move if you get it in the wrong place so bringing that down now you should be left with something like that turn that over so this is my end piece this is my end flap um, here let me just put that underneath and you can see so this is my end flap and then that's my anchor pieces there, the two um, glue tab pieces um, that are going to stick over. So what we need to do now is put our double sided tape on those glue tabs. Now they go on the valley fold side, sorry, the um, mountain fold side of that glue tab again there now if you want to you could make these glue tabs a little bit bigger just add a bit more um, just add maybe an inch uh, but they should be okay so bringing it round so that it is back into the correct position how you're going to have it so I'm going to have mine about there now if you wanted to you could have it this way and have your um, waterfall feature opening this way um, it's up to you it might get a bit stuck on the pages but um, again it's up to you if you want to have a change around and have it that way but I'm going to have it this way so I'm going to push my flaps over so that the sticky side is facing outwards if you've got it inside you've got it wrong okay you need to take that double sided tape off and restart so make sure that your pages are kind of flat now what I might do is just put a bulldog clip on that to keep them pages from lifting up or you could put a safety um, um, a safety uh, it's not a safety pin um, what are they called? Paper clip um, on uh, there as well, just to help them. So I'm going to get that into my position, and when I'm happy uh, with where it is, I'm just going to push down, and then that then is going to anchor that anchor piece together down to the the actual page, and then if I pull this up, my mechanism will work. It pulls up and down okay and when I pull it back that top that end one is going to sit flat it will eventually um, as we put more weight on it that will sit more flatter 
but we need then to put our little closure bit on which is this bit here and that's going to go just on to the piece at the bottom um, which is like the ten and a half inch measurement that we had so this So this is going to, so your glue, um, your double sided tape is going to go onto that glue tab again, burnish that down, pull that off and then again just get this so that you're happy that it's in the middle of that uh, piece of card and that it's about an eighth of an inch above that scored edge and when you're happy push it down like so. Now what I did forget to do, but which I am going to do, is just oh, I am going to um, just decorate these edges. So I'm just going to add my corner um, punch to these edges here. Now I forgot the bottom one, but that doesn't matter. Now what I will do is where my closure comes down and underneath, you can't see where that glue tab is, I am just going to add a tiny bit of double si um, construction tape just to that glue tab, just over that ridge so that it will close a bit more smoother, it's not going to get stuck. There we go, that's better. Now if you don't want it as high as that, cut it down a bit more. But if you wanted to, you could have that cut smaller. Or you could fold that over and create a flap in the flap, which is what I actually might do. If I get that, let's have a look at this, let's have a go at this. So, I'm going to push it in here so that I know it's level. And then I'm going to put it down to, let's have a look. In, that one. So, let's go with um, a two inch, like so. So that's two inches, so I can fold that over. I'm going to put some double sided tape underneath next to that scored line. Open, take that off, fold that down, and then what happens is you've now got a nice pocket that's not going to let anything fall out. Okay, so just a top tip there. So, I'll cover my sides like that. And like, that's too big. Like so. And then I can put my magnet underneath and then I've got a nice tuck spot then to put um, another little tag or something else in there as well. So, that then is our waterfall. But let me just put the um, magnets on. So, I get a couple of magnets. So, using your um, construction tape, or tiger tape, put your magnet on the back of your closure, get some more of your construction tape and your magnet and put it with the sticky side up, okay, sticky side up, let the magnet find its natural um, magnetic force. Now what I'm going to do, because we're going to have bits and pieces in here, I'm just going to put something underneath just to bring 
that up a little bit because we're going to have um, photographs and paper and things like that we don't want it to start bowing so that this is going to um, flap open so just a little bit of something in there just to bring that up and then you can put your magnet piece down Ooh, hopefully that's stuck there and then when you get and start to fit uh, get loads of things in there it's not going to start to um, weaken that uh, magnet okay so pulling that up and you can see it's working perfectly and then we've got an added bonus of a little um, tuck spot there if you didn't want that you could cut that down before you put it into your book um, again this choice is yours I might actually also just round those corners at the bottom if I can yeah one and two and then I've rounded them corners off so they look nice and um, they just give it a nice finish so that is um, the conclusion of this video I really hope you've enjoyed it please give me a, a thumbs up and a like if you have and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well all the links I will be in the description box down below for all my socials and everything like that also there will be some shopping links and some links to the um, supplies that I've used if I forget to list anything and you want to know what it is then please just um, leave me a comment I'm gonna go away now and I will um, cover this book and then we'll do a walkthrough of this one when I've finished oh but we have got part five to come part five will be a very quick video on how I made my flowers for the front of my seed beans so if I bring this in just in case you haven't seen it um, how I made these flowers here um, it will be a very quick tutorial um, but if you want to uh, know how I make them and what ones I use then please watch out for that thanks again for watching whatever you're doing please have a really good day and I will see you again on the next one